Welcome to Redmond 127, located in the Technical Education Center on the Redmond campus. This room is equipped with two TV monitors, two computer monitors, and two cameras, making it perfect for either streaming or receiving a streaming class. Let's take a look at how to use the equipment in this room. We'll start by turning on any monitors that need to be turned on, and then we'll turn on the computer tower itself. Next, if the Crestron is not awake, you can tap it to wake it up, and then select the computer source. If the Crestron asks if you would like to use a projector, you can choose yes or no. In this case, I'm going to choose yes. Next, we'll use the TV remote to turn on the two TVs in the room. This room has two labeled camera remotes. One of them turns on the camera in the front of the room, and one of them turns on the camera in the back of the room. We can use the up, down, left, right, and zoom buttons on the camera remotes to move the cameras around. You can use the camera feed selector button to change which camera feed displays on your TV screen. Now we'll sign into the computer. The computer monitors in this room are set up in such a way that you can drag items from one monitor to the other. Anything appearing on the right computer monitor will also appear on the right-hand TV, as well as on the projector. The left-hand TV is there to use as a self-check so that you can see what your students are seeing through the video camera feed. Next, we'll sign into Zoom either through Canvas or through the built-in Zoom program on the computer. Before students join your meeting, you will want to go through the test speaker and microphone check to make sure that the equipment in the room is working. The speaker and microphone that Zoom chooses may not be the best ones for your purposes, so if you need to select a different speaker and microphone, that's perfectly all right. Here are the settings that worked well for us in making this video. Once students have joined your Zoom call, Remember that you can use the camera feed selector buttons to change what your camera feed is showing the students in your streaming class. This can be useful for showing information on the projector screen, as well as facilitating discussion between your in-person class and a streaming class. When the class is over, be sure to shut down the Crestron system, turn off the computer, and turn off the computer monitors. Next, use the camera remotes to turn off the two cameras and the TV remote to turn off the room TVs. Finally, if you have any problems during your streaming class, feel free to use the classroom phone to give us here at eLearning a call. There should also be a manual somewhere in the classroom that describes how to use the technology in the room in a manner similar to this video. If you don't find that manual, feel free to request one from us at any time. We hope that you enjoy your streaming class experience here at COCC, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let us know. Thanks for watching.